Hi Lisa, I'm glad to see you again. I have a question. If there's no free will, and I can see there is not, what makes Jesus, Ramana Maharshi, Buddha, and other awakened human beings, so to speak, enlightened? What is the difference between them and the others that made them wake up? Thank you. Um, I would say it's karma, but it's nobody's karma because you feel that they're not you. So that's the illusion. Like, so in a way it's karma, these different bodies that wake up and have these awakenings, but in another way, like they are you. So the idea that there is them that have woken up and a you that hasn't is an idea, like who you are as consciousness is always free and they are appearing in you and as you. But then if you go back to the human world, you'd say it's karma. So it's dependent on life's will. And there was something in Jesus and Buddha and these different teachers that you mentioned where there was a readiness to surrender. And at some point, the Hassan energy will have a readiness to surrender. But nobody is left out of this. No one's going to stay in illusion forever. Like one thing that's guaranteed with this life is that nothing lasts forever. But it's down to karma. But how does that make you feel? Is that sending you off into hopelessness or despair? Because that's not what it's meant to do. So it's just checking in. So I say something. And if you're, if you're not hearing it from the perspective of love or openness or the freedom in which it's intended from, if you're hearing it from a contracted or violent or angry or despairing place, then you're not hearing it from that emptiness, that beyond place. You're hearing it from a personal reaction and then believe in that personal reaction to be true. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's totally okay. But it's, um, but it's just noticing because I could maybe say it's karma and then the person could go into a big monologue, internal monologue about how they're never going to make it and their karma is shit and what's the point in living. And that's not what's being said when it's answered that it's karma. It's actually really beautiful and freeing if you heard that. So a lot of the time the person is very unconscious of itself. And one way to become more conscious of the personal self is putting attention in the body. Like my teacher used to say, the body doesn't lie, but the mind does, the thoughts do. Thanks, Hassan.